Hi friends, Doc South here. And you know, it, it's funny, I was just I, I, I was just thinking about that phrase. Hi friends, Doc South here. I've used that phrase since about 1981. What's that come out to? That'd be 19 and 19, almost 38 years, working on 38 years. Uh, in fact, uh, let me see. Oh gosh, yeah, sometime in uh, March will mark an anniversary of when I first went on the air. And that's, I know it sounds like a simple phrase, but i have that's pretty much the, the phrase I've used whenever I uh, key the mic and go on the air or do one of my video blurps or uh, even sometimes when I, uh, when I write something, it may be Doc's out here saying hey or whatever, and then I go into whatever it was I was going to write about. Um, sometimes the uh, when it's written word going, I, the high friends docs out here may not fit the bill, but you see what I mean. And you know, I, 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 I was just thinking about that. That's, well, you, you know where I got the phrase somewhat, somewhat, was from working as a rescue person down in the Carolinas, back when I did that, I served about three years, give or take. And most every time you go running through the door to a, 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 a house or come on the scene of, a, of an accident, you would, if nothing else, you'd let the dispatcher know back at the hall, uh, at, the, uh, at the squad hall, uh, hey, we're here. Yeah. Uh, or you'd, and definitely you would say to your patient who might be a little woozy or slightly un, you know, going in and out of consciousness or horribly ill, in pain, say, hi, rescue here. Now, what can we do for you? Where are you hurting? This kind. Yeah. And uh, right away you could see them. At least they knew that help was now on site and uh, that m maybe things were going to be a bit better now. Uh, the... Um, and I, I thought that would make for a good, um, just a good opening whenever I do a show. Because actually, I do go on my shows, I, I key the mic if I'm doing a show or a gig somewhere, with the idea, the express idea, that I'm here to uh, help people feel a little better about the day they're in, uh, feel a little more comfortable in that, that life they've put on. And uh, so it's kind of what I do. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's been a perfectly good phrase to start anything with. Now, some of my stories, no, but the, the phrase is implied. <laughs> I write my stories with the, basically the only premise is, is to make people feel a little better about, about life and uh, the existence we're in. And uh, I, I usually, when I think about it, like the Rescue Squad, I realized that a lot of my time writing stories, doing, uh, doing shows, uh, hosting events, and that kind of thing, uh, I pretty much have done it as a volunteer. For, I'd say for the majority of my time on air, yeah. Yes, I have had some paying jobs. and uh, In some cases, got paid well. In other cases, really didn't make much more than minimum, uh, if anything at all. And a lot of my uh, gigs where I do that I do for charities, I don't always get money. I do sometimes, but for the most part, it's kind of, you know, uh, kind of touch and go. The uh, of course the car shows and cruise nights, yeah, I, I get paid. Chatterbox paid me quite well, and uh, like that. But still, um, uh, again, it isn't necessarily the money that I'm looking for. It's, it's putting a, a grin on someone's face, letting them hear a song they haven't heard in a, in, in a long, long time, or writing a story that well, just get, maybe inspires them to do something nice for someone else. That's what I'm looking to do. In a way, uh, the stories and the shows are... Uh, in fact, I remember back in the, in the, uh, in the, in the 80s there, thinking that that would be entertaining folks and, and, and bringing a little light to their lives is something that's kind of necessary. It, it keeps you healthier and uh, less prone to being in an accident or a fist fight or a, a gun battle or whatever. And so that's, yeah, 
I felt like if there were happier shows on the radio, there'd be less calls to the rescue squad. And, 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 I, and I still believe that. The happier people are, the better. Um, and so that, that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, I, by so doing, uh, especially now that I'm getting up there in age, money is, does get tight. And I was going to say, if you folks can volunteer some money uh, to the station, that would be good. A, a donation would be very welcome and mostly put to use uh, paying down debt from having had the radio, the internet radio station. That did cost me a lot. I was happy to do it, but it did, it, it, it ran up quite a tab. Um, the... Um, the stories, quite often when I, I get a book done, uh, the books are usually break even uh, or maybe, well, sometimes they make a little and sometimes they don't. Um, and, and they're not written with the purpose of making a trillion. Uh, they're written to get people happier. That's, that's why I do them. I often give the books away. Okay, just like I often, not always, but I often give my DJ services away. And heaven knows the, the internet shows I did, which I'd love to do again if I could afford to, um, also uh, were um, pretty much a volunteer thing. If you can help, that would be great, is what it all boils down to. Uh, you can, I have a GoFundMe site. You can check it out. Uh, it's easy. You go to GoFundMe.com forward slash ISMJ90. And that's um, small, ISMJ. So it's uh, gofundme.com forward slash ISMJ90. And you can uh, donate a, a couple bucks or uh, if your daddy wore bucks and you got a couple trillion, oh, go ahead. <laughs> the only thing is, is I really wouldn't know what to do with that much money. That that would blow my circuits. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I could use whatever you care to donate. A lot of folks, 10, 25 bucks. Some folks donate 100 or two. Uh, but the money will go towards knocking down debt so that perhaps if I can get the debt low enough, <clears throat> I might be talked into or get some money aside. I might be talked into knocking out, uh, getting Millie's itinerary, the most recent book I've completed, uh, into book form. That would be that's a possibility. Or a maid, it wouldn't hurt for me to get the debt down. That's a fact. Uh, as that's um, Paying that off is kind of tough. Uh, so again, if you can help, good. If you can't, well, I, can't, I intend to keep on going as best I can. Luckily, these videos don't really cost that much. A little bit of data and, uh, and time. Uh, but still, uh, knocking down the debt, boy, sure would help. Okay, so again, if you can... Uh, gofundme.com forward slash ISMJ90. You'll see my, um, you'll see my face there on the, vid, uh, on the uh, opening page of, the, uh, of that GoFundMe site, so you'll know it's me. Although in that one, I'm a whole lot fatter. Yeah, it's like, yeah, whoo. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I lost some weight. It was a little too chubby there. <laughs> so I think when they took that picture, I was out front of a diner, and I was thinking I was getting a. I thought I was thinking about getting a gravy burger. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with extra gravy uh, and lard. Uh, so yeah, I don't. I, I probably deserve that big fat face. Um, but again, uh, <laughs> those were the days, I guess. And hopefully I'm looking for some DJ work, too. If you got some, uh, I can always use it. Uh, here in northwest New Jersey, northeastern Pensy, I'd be tickled to help you out. Again, I don't charge an arm and a leg. And if it's a big charity event, well, again, uh, if you really, uh, if the charity is really low on funds, well, I, I could be talked into either taking less <coughs> or, um, uh, or charging nothing at all. Uh, possibly. Possibly. Okay. I'll see you later. Thank you, friends, and God bless. And again, uh, gofundme.com forward slash ISMJ. That's small, ISMJ 90. Okay. See you later. And thank you in advance. If you can help, boy, that would be great. Bye now.